Hey everybody, welcome to Clark Woodworks. I uh, hope you're having a great day. If you uh, have seen my previous video that I just uploaded about two or three days ago, it was the review on this rigid R4512 table saw. And one of the cons I had with this saw was that the dust collection port on the bottom is four inches. And if you have a rigid wet dry back like I do here, this is a two inch hose. <clears throat> so there is, to my knowledge, not a single adapter for that, at least made by Rigid. It, there wasn't one at Home Depot specifically meant for this saw. That four inch port's designed for a dust collection system. I don't have one in my garage or shop right now. So I'm kind of stuck in that right. I had no way to hook up this hose to the saw. And uh, I posted the video and I posted a picture on my YouTube channel kind of promoting the video and a guy named Steve from Grain underscore Creations, Grain Creations, uh, sent me a message and said, hey, I have that saw, I have a workaround um, that I have set up right now and would you be interested in seeing it and seeing how it works? And I said, sure, that's great. And so we FaceTimed, which uh, I think was awesome. Technology is great that you can do stuff like that now. We FaceTimed for about 45 minutes the other day. And side note, if you're, if you're not following Steve over at Grand Creations, you should. I'll post a link down below to his Instagram account, so you should go follow him. The dude's just awesome. Uh, it was great talking to him. Super knowledgeable and super friendly. And it was, I, that's what I love about um, the woodworking community. Everybody's so willing to help and so friendly and so willing to share ideas. And so it's awesome. So he had this idea. He used a reducer on the bottom of his table saw. Uh, it was a PVC reducer, if I remember correctly. Um, and then he had a coupling, a rubber coupling that's meant for, um, I don't know if it's plumbing or something. And so I said, okay, that's, that's actually a pretty decent idea. And he had used tape and try some different things. I'm gonna try something a little different. It's kind of the same concept, but if you have this saw or if you have a four inch dust port and you're going to a shop back like I am, um, this will work for you hopefully. So I went over to home, uh, Lowe's, excuse me, I didn't go to Home Depot, I went to Lowe's, and I bought, this is a four inch, it's a kind of pliable reducer, so it's four inch to three inch. Um, and then I've got this, this is says it's a two inch coupler here. It's like, okay, how does that work? And uh, you can see this one came with two um, pipe clamps, you know, those little ratcheting clamps that you screw down. And so I thought, well, okay, here's what I'll do. I will take this clamp off of here and, you know, kind of shove this in there and then clamp down around it. And then from here, I will use another clamp, which there's a clamp on here now, and clamp down around on the hose here. So you can see, this kind of fits in there, it wedges in there really well, but it, it doesn't stay, it will slide in and out fairly easily. I may leave it, I may put like Steve, I think had taken some tape and wrapped it around here and got the good fitting for it. So I may try that, or I just may use the clamp on there. Um, and then this will clamp up on the bottom here, so the dust collection's up underneath here. And it's really hard to see. I'm gonna try and get some video for you of us doing that, but uh, so basically it's just the four inch to three inch, this two inch into three inch, and then clamp down and see how that works. I don't know if it's gonna work. The three inch didn't fit in here very well, so we're gonna see how it works here. So you have to follow along. connection is tight. I can barely pull on the hose, which is fine. So let's, let me, uh, we're going to plug in the saw and I'm going to run a cut and see how it works. dust here that kind of there's some chipping some other things that happen there's a lot of dust that flew out of this um, clean this off again 
and there's just a lot of dust that flew off of that. Just that small rip had tons of dust on it. Now let's try it with the uh, shot back on. So honestly, there was still, there's still some dust um, that comes out here. It's not as bad as it was with, uh, without the uh, shot back installed. There's still some chip out and things like that, but um, that's kind of nice here on the top. The biggest advantage though is on the bottom. So what we're doing is that dust port was just wide open before so that I'd have dust all over the floor. And uh, now when I move this saw around and it shakes and rattles, it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna have dust collection on it, so the, the shop back's gonna be pulling all that dust out. So it's, I think this is gonna work perfectly. Uh, the minimal stuff on top is not a big deal compared to what was coming out the bottom. So uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. A little quick tip there for you. If you have any comments, you have any questions, you have any suggestions, you can comment down below. Uh, click subscribe and uh, for future videos and stuff like that. So I got a couple more videos coming up. Got some exciting things. I've done one upgrade on some shop lights, but. Uh, I've got, I bought another one tonight and uh, we're going to make this place super bright so it's not as uh, difficult to film in. So anyway, uh, so stay tuned for some future videos. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you.